Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to this video weather briefing. We do have a lot to talk about with an ongoing significant weather pattern change. High winds, widespread high winds, some precipitation. Overall, this looks like high impact because of the wind and the fire danger. The weather pattern will abruptly change on Tuesday with high winds developing, continuing into Wednesday. This is Alex Tardy, Meteorologist, National Weather Service. Here are the highlights. A red flag warning is in effect upgraded from a fire weather watch for Orange County, Inland Empire, and San Bernardino Mountain foothills. Why? Well, we've seen two weeks of very dry air and continued weak Santa Ana winds. The fuel has dried out to critical levels, as if it's October. The weak Santa Anas have impacted the fuel, continuing to dry it out over the past 10 to 14 days. It's going to turn much colder on Tuesday with some scattered showers. The big deal will be the winds will be increasing on Tuesday, especially Tuesday afternoon, rolling through the evening, becoming widespread to the coast. This looks to be a strong Santa Ana wind event, and it is looking even stronger than what we saw in early December. The strongest winds look to be Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening, but they will continue a lot of areas Tuesday night, and especially continuing Wednesday across the Inland Empire and San Diego County and Southern Orange County. Now we do see some precipitation potential, some scattered showers with the main cold front Tuesday, Tuesday night, but then precipitation comes up from the south, from the south, drawn up from the south, from the Baja area, tropical moisture, and that wraps up into the deserts and up to the mountain crests. It doesn't look like much of that will make it to the coast, however. With the wind, we'll also see much colder nights starting uh, as early as Tuesday night and rolling through the week. This weather system does open the door for potential for another storm on Friday, Saturday. That's a more traditional storm, Pacific storm coming in off the ocean. It'll have onshore winds, not Santa Ana winds. And this active weather could continue even early next week. The fuel moisture has really dried out. So just in the past two weeks, we've seen all types of fuels just plummet to now near record levels. Why? The weather pattern has been relentless Santa Ana winds, even though they've been mostly weak over the past two weeks. We had some really hot record temperatures last Friday and Saturday. That combined with the Santa Ana winds have brought us to now levels that as if it was October rather than January for our fuel conditions. So very critical. Where's the wind going to blow? On Tuesday, the winds will be developing and developing rapidly as the cold front moves through from the north. We're going to see wind gusts become widespread, gusting 40 to 60 miles per hour, even to some of our coastal corridors as shown here. Everyone will see at least some wind gusts of 35 to 40 miles per hour. Our wind prone areas, well, they'll see wind gusts exceeding 70 miles per hour as shown here in some of those deep red and purple shade. Now, what about on Wednesday? Well, the winds are gonna continue Tuesday night as mentioned and really through Wednesday evening. The winds will be strongest during the daylight hours on Wednesday and focused over San Diego County. That's when we could see some wind gusts in San Diego County continuing to reach near 50 miles per hour, even in coastal communities such as the I-15 corridor, all the way down to the I-5 corridor. The wind's not gonna go away in Orange County, nor will it in the Inland Empire or the high deserts as shown here. Continued windy conditions. The least wind, well, that'll be over the inland areas such as our deserts, lower deserts. Wind's going to even blow across our ocean waters, making for rough conditions over our seas. Here's some model forecast winds. Winds really pick up mid-afternoon on Tuesday, where they're going to become widespread. And even eventually, by late in the afternoon, blowing across the ocean. I'm going to highlight the change. Take a look at what happens when the strong cold front comes through mid-afternoon on Tuesday, almost no wind over the ocean waters to strong winds over the ocean waters late Tuesday afternoon, abrupt.
The winds look like they'll increase Tuesday evening and through the night hours. So even when the sun sets, the wind will continue to blow. Some areas will relax a little bit, like parts of the Inland Empire. Most areas, though, even to the coast and over the ocean waters, you'll continue to see some dangerous winds uh, where sustained winds will be 30 to 40 miles per hour, as shown in red here, with stronger gusts. Some of our wind-prone areas getting gusts to 80 miles per hour. Even on Wednesday, the wind will not decrease over all areas. We'll see some decrease over LA and Orange County, but the wind will continue to blow all the way to the ocean across San Diego County, really basically from San Bernardino all the way down to San Diego. Sustained strong winds will continue, so high impact. Deserts, catching a break in the lower deserts, but winds continuing, easterly winds continuing in the high deserts. We're gonna have some precipitation in the form of rain and snow. I think some of it will be some showers with the cold air coming in Tuesday and Tuesday night, scattered showers. But the primary precipitation is gonna come up from the south and spread into our desert areas. So while the deserts aren't seeing much of the Santa Ana wind as usual, they will be seeing the precipitation. And because it's gonna be cold, a lot of this precipitation is gonna form as snow above 4,000 feet with several inches above 5,000 feet in our mountain areas. Favored areas will be the eastern slopes. That is the opposite slopes of a normal precipitation pattern. Very little precipitation making it to the coast. Here's a look at the snowfall, several inches as painted here in the light and darker shaded blue. I think the area with the most snow, that'll be up in the Big Bear area, but you're also gonna see some significant snow accumulating even in Idlewild and Mount Laguna. What's causing this? Our current weather pattern is shown on the left-hand side. Believe it or not, a storm system is moving overhead as we speak, even though there's very few clouds. A bigger storm will cut down from Utah, coming in from the east, northeast, and it'll park over San Diego by Tuesday morning. And it'll also cut off from the main jet stream as shown here, painted in the red line. This system will do two things. It'll develop a surface low pressure area or strong pressure gradient, i.e. wind, uh, by Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night. That'll be the focus for blowing those strong winds across central and southern California. The other thing it'll do is as the jet stream breaks away from the main portion of the Pacific jet stream, it draws moisture, tropical moisture, up from the south. Yeah, we've seen that scenario already this year, even on Christmas Eve when we had rain in a Santa Ana wind. Well, this is similar. It'll draw moisture up from the south and push it into the deserts on Wednesday. Now, what happens when this storm leaves Wednesday night and Thursday? Well, it looks like another storm is on its heels, so this basically opens the door for the storm track. Another storm will arrive, it appears on Friday, and it'll continue into Saturday. More of a classic storm, but it is targeting and favoring Southern California with its track. So that means widespread precipitation and yes, mountain snow. No Santa Ana wind, but onshore winds. Another storm is even likely to affect us early next week as shown on the right-hand side. So the bottom line is this powerful Santa Ana wind and this unusual storm track setting up on Tuesday, Wednesday, with a storm coming in from our northeast, not over the ocean, coming from land. That opens the door, though, for a more traditional storm coming in, albeit focused on Southern California, late in the week and early next week. Here are the highlights for your location. Everyone is going to see wind with gusts at least 40 miles per hour to potentially even 60 miles per hour in our valleys and coastal areas. Wind prone areas, our corridors, will have wind gusts over 60, perhaps even our windiest locations over 80 miles per hour. Now who's affected? Um, it's gonna be all the corridors, not just the typical ones, but all the way down to the 405 and the I-5, all the way down to the I-15, including the I-8 corridor. So we're looking at wind potential of 40 to 50 miles per hour for cities like Escondido, Alpine, Irvine, places that occasionally see wind, but in your average Santa Ana wind don't see much. So the bottom line is widespread Santa Ana winds developing on Tuesday, 
peaking Tuesday evening, continuing through Tuesday night, and a resurgence, especially over San Diego County on Wednesday. I do want to emphasize the temperatures and what we actually could call blustery conditions in Southern California. We're looking at temperatures, high temperatures on Tuesday, not exceeding the 30s in the mountains. For our valleys and coast, 60s. That's going to feel cold for sure, especially with the wind rapidly increasing and being persistent. But considering we were just in the 80s and 90s, some 30 plus degrees colder. And that cold air stays around on Wednesday. Here are the highlights and what you need to take home. Continued dry Santa Ana wind flow. It's going to rapidly increase and become widespread on Tuesday. Not the typical Santa Ana winds that just affect the canyons and passes and other areas. Widespread winds. The peak winds look to be Tuesday afternoon and evening, but we're also going to see a peak during Tuesday night in some areas and shifting into San Diego County, another resurgence of wind on Wednesday. Now, we do have high fire danger because of the very dry fuels. We're talking about critically dry fuels for this time of year, as if it's October. And that fire danger is real. Uh, we also look for potential for wind damage to power lines and trees because of these strong gusts all the way to the valleys and coast. We are talking about some showers with this cold front Tuesday and Tuesday night, and then even widespread precipitation into our deserts and desert slopes on Wednesday. We could see several inches of snow up above 5,000 feet. Yes, snow, even with the Santa Ana winds. And some moderate rain making it even into some of our mountain areas. So some impact to our recent burn scar, El Dorado and Apple. But it looks like low potential. Only light rain at best and a light shower uh, Tuesday or even some light rain Wednesday making it to our coast. But we will see higher humidity and more cloud cover, but still high fire danger. Cooler weather is going to be very noticeable if you don't notice the winds, which will be hard to do. And um, because of this weather pattern change, it opens the door for more weather, more rain, more widespread precipitation, mountain snow Friday and Saturday, and possibly early next week. So it's very important that you check weather.gov for the latest watches and warnings. Uh, currently, a red flag warning and a high wind warning are your main hazards in effect. You can monitor these unfolding high wind conditions at the arrow there. Go to our web page and you can monitor all the weather stations on one map. Also look for posting on social media. You can share your impacts from this storm on social media as well on Facebook and Twitter. We'll post this video of course on YouTube. Please stay safe everyone with these rapid and significant changes for high winds in Southern California.